Indigenous leader Emerhildo Criollo of Ecuador said his son went swimming in a lagoon in the Amazon, came up coughing blood and oil, Chevron Texaco oil. His son died. In 2011, Chevron was found guilty of poisoning the Amazon, and Criollo won $9 billion to clean up the poisons. His lawyer, this man, Stephen Donziger. Chevron never paid, but Donziger did. The human rights lawyer has been sentenced to six months in a U.S. federal you are prison. attacking Stephen Donziger to attack the indigenous peoples of Ecuador who had the courage and tenacity and sophistication and determination to win a multi-billion dollar pollution judgment against one of the worst polluters in world history, the Chevron Corporation. It's Greg Pallas reporting from in front of federal court, Manhattan, New York. Back in 2007, like I that. went to Ecuador to investigate for BBC. If you're here with me, you could smell it. Now, 28 yeah. years into his fight against Chevron, Donziger has been sentenced to six months in prison for alleged contempt of court for refusing to turn over his computer and phone to the oil company, which would have endangered the lives of his clients in Ecuador. Donziger has already spent nearly two years under house arrest wearing an electronic ankle claw. He was prosecuted for the first time in U.S. history, not by the U.S. Justice Department, but by a private attorney who worked for Chevron, the first corporate prosecution in America sending a man to prison no jury trial. The United Nations International Court of Human Rights ordered the United States to release Donziger and pay him compensation. Nevertheless, the judge, known for her extreme right-wing views, ordered him to prison. To really manufacture criminal cases against your political opponents, to neutralize them and destroy them so they can no longer be a threat, you're seeing that in the United States. I mean, this is what's happened to me. Just another front in the war over that dark commodity that's left half the world in flames.